Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to ins install Brave with Chasm BNC uh, on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so... Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, this is what will be installed today. Chasm uh, Web Bra Brave. Makes to where you can run uh, Brave standalone in Chasm, uh, Chasm workspaces. Um, the uh, This is what it looks like. And um, the environment variables down here, the launch URL, and then the standalone deployment uh, means that you don't have to have the full Chasm to run it. And uh, the user is Chasm user, and we'll need that. And the password on mine is going to be Portainer. So it's also going to be listening on the IP of the Portainer and then 6901 for the port. So that's what will be installed today. So now we'll be starting on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to how to install Brave on Portainer right here. I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the service is called Brave. Container name is going to be called Big Bear Brave. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this and Chasm Web and Brave. The Docker image tag is a uh, 1140 ro rolling. Um, this is the latest version currently right now. Uh, uh, ports are on the host is 6901. This is on the host and this is on the container. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 6902. Um, on the container port, do not change this. Environment variable, so the, the password to lo log into the VNC is Portainer. Um, the user is Chasm user right here. The launch URL, the first uh, URL that comes up inside the browser will be community.bigbirdtechworld.com. And then the uh, shared memory size is 512 megabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my Portainer and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Portainer. I'm going to go in Local, Stacks, and then Add Stack up here. And then I'm going to give a stack name of Brave uh, Stack. And then uh, this uh, Portainer stacks are using Docker Compose underneath. Um, so I'm going to come down to the web editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then once you do that, you'll scroll down to deploy the stack. And then it's going to download the, uh, the a Docker image from the registry, get it extracted, and get it up with Docker Compose underneath. So it could take a little bit to actually download the image. If this does fail for any reason, uh, you can always uh, go into the uh, network tools and, and your browser and look at the network request and look and see what the error is if it's too big for the actual notification over here. So now it's up and running, stack successfully deployed. So oh, we got it done. So now I'm going to go over the stack options in Portainer. Um, so you'll go in the stack. Uh, you have the stack over here, the stack details, the stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. These are, these are the actions. And then stack duplication slash migration. You can see the containers down here and the, uh, the detail on the containers. And then access control. You can also go in the editor 
and you can edit the Docker Compose, and then you can come down here and update the stack. You can repull the image and redeploy. This means it repulls the image off the registry, gets the local cache updated, and then pushes it back out and re redeploys it. So, um, cancel on that. Uh, so, that's a little bit about the stack options in Portainer. So now I'm gonna go over the container options in Portainer. If you're in your stack, you can see your, uh, your cont containers down here. You can go into it and you can see a logs, inspect, stats, console, attach. You can also see your actions up here. Start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate slash edit. You can see your cont container status down here. Name, the created start time, the ID. You can also see your access controls. You can cr create an image. You can come down here and you can see your container details like port configuration. This is on the host side. And then this is on the container side. You can see the image up here. Um, you can see the entry point, the command, uh, the environment variables, the labels. You can change the restart policy. So you can change it and then just, uh, update it right here. You can also see the uh, bridge networks the bridge network that it created, Brave Stack Default. So, that's a little bit about the container options in Portainer. So now we're going to go to the UI. So, HTTPS, your IP for your Portainer, and then 6901 for the host port. So I'm going to return or enter. It's gonna say your connection is not private. So I'm gonna advanced, proceed, and then now we're gonna put in our our username and password. So the username is chasm um, user. So now I'm gonna do the password. So that would be portainer and then sign in. Now we're in and you can see that it's starting on community.bigbeartechworld.com. So that did do correctly. You can go, up, you can come up here. You can allow the clipboard. You can uh, go to Google. There you go. It works just like a normal browser. Um, you can go into the options over here, like drag view, viewport, key, keys, clipboard, full screen, get game cursor mode. You can see all the settings, the keyboard the shortcuts, the stream quality, the advanced. So uh, you can also uh, disconnect completely from the browser. You can connect back up. So that's how to get uh, brave working in Portainer. And roll the bloopers. Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Brave on Portainer using a ca uh, ca chasm. So I just went over everything to install Brave uh, on a. Uh, uh, mm. So I hope you enjoyed the bloopers, and if you did, make a comment down below and let me know if you uh, want me to do some more of them at the end of the videos now, from now on. So, uh, videoing's not easy, and uh, I want to show, I guess, the behind-the-scenes parts. So, stay tuned for more. So, I just went over everything to install Brave on Portainer. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or, or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.